Yo, good evening, lads and ladies. Uh, this is just going to be a quick little uh, suggestion video for the upcoming Go West uh, Dreamer patch. Uh, and it's going to be in regard to Hyper Burning, uh, which is something I haven't spoke about for a while. Because um, I, didn't, I didn't do one of these for New Age, I believe. Uh, but I did one for Savior. So I just kind of want to do like an updated, um, not a tier list, but like suggested classes um, that I think are really good for hyper burns for either new players, existing players, second mains, boss mules, anything that kind of fits into the meta. Um, so yeah, just take these with like a bit of, uh, inspiration, if you will. Uh, what I've done is I've got three main picks and then some honorable mentions at the end. I and mean, for the three main picks, what I've done is grabbed one elemental resistance character, uh, one support, um, and one main DPS. Um, and those will be my top three picks. I'm um, in no particular order, and then we'll have some honorable mentions just to sort of show that there are other play like ones you can pick that are just as good as the others. Um, but again, pick any class in the game that you like, because any class can clear any content in the game. You don't have to worry about, like, anything super crazy. Um, but with that said, let's get into it. Uh, pick one is going to be Battle Mage. Uh, now, you might be a bit shocked by this, because I am a Dawn Warrior main. Um, so you'd be like, oh, surely this guy puts Dawn Warrior as the elemental resistance character. Uh, absolutely not. Um, Battle Mage, in terms of like party support and what you provide, um, is fantastic for not only like a sub DPS, but even just for like a support by itself, right? Um, and on top of that, the skill aesthetic of Battle Mage is absolutely fantastic. I love the designs, all the purples, the blues, the reds, like just really cool looking classes you can see on the screen. Um, movement wise, it's a TP class. It also has one of the best TPs in the game. Uh, you can like vertical TP and then TP in the air at the same time. Your TP then lays down like a dark lightning, um, which can be used uh, to augment your mobbing playstyle, uh, which will be really good just for training the character as well as bossing. Um, but this character, um, in terms of the elemental resistance out of Battle Mage, Dawn Warrior, and Blaze Wizard, this is the one I want to recommend. Um, Battle Mage, really good sub main, um, and really good, will fit in any endgame party very easily. Parties will be looking for you to join um, because of what you can give to them. Um, so it will be really nice, like, pushing into endgame. Um, in terms of a support class, uh, I mean, the, the obvious option is, like, the only true, like, Omega Giga support in the game. Uh, which is Bishop. <laughs> um, what Bishop gives is just, like, incredibly overpowered. Um, I believe, like, Benediction is, what, like, 50 FD at max uh, int, plus healing, um, plus you can provide an extra life to your party members. Um, <laughs> again, it's a TP class. Uh, and then you have Infinity, uh, which will give you a massive FD steroid, un like, reliable memory, whatever it's called. Uh, Fountain for more healing. Um, Angel Ray, which provides healing every time you attack. Uh, the list goes on, bro. The, the <laughs> Bishop is just a really good class to have in any party setup. Uh, like, regardless of what content it is, like, Bishop will always fit. Um, so if you're looking for, like, to be that support player, that, like, um, meta, like, you will fit in every comp regardless of, like, how strong you are, where you are. Like, everyone is going to look you and want you in their party. Um, Bishop is a pick for you. Um, or if you just like that playstyle. Bishop can stand on its own in soloing as well. Um, there are better options, of course, for soloing. Um, but Bishop is still very good. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd recommend Bishop as like the main support if you want to hyper burn one of these. Um, and then after that, for our main DPS slot. Um, now this one's going to be a bit obvious. Um, I'm going to be picking Nightwalker. Um, because Nightwalker is just a very... I'm going to say simple to play, because, you know, I think it is. But some people, I don't know, they might struggle with it. But you are just essentially just bursting. <laughs> um, really reliable class. Um, you've got great aerial movement with an up jump and a double flash jump. Um, you've got a placeable teleport in your Greater Dark Servant, uh, which also mimics all of your attack skills. Um, you've got uh, lifesteal on your bats. You've got shielding. You've got dark sight built into your kit. Um, which isn't as important anymore, but for old old school bosses, it, it can be nice. Um, it's then got incredible like like back step, which is a great back movement skill, um, and with zero cooldown, it's way better than the Night Lord version. Um, and on top of all of that, it does fantastic damage. Um, its origin is very easy to use. Um, <laughs> Spears is just an absolutely ridiculous skill uh, that is way overtuned, in my opinion. <laughs> Nightwalker is just a really good class. All right. Um, I was going to hyper burn a Nightwalker myself, um, but I'm going to be doing a Demon Adventure now, and then I'm just going to level the Nightwalker passively, like with dailies and grinding, um, and farm familiars. Because Nightwalker is just that good. Um, like, a along with the whole bossing aspect, it's a really easy grinder. Now, grinder isn't as important in the future with 6-job and Soul Janus, um, but you still need to get to 6-job. 
Um, and bite farming makes that very easy. You do need a cooldown hat to some extent, or you can go for wings. Um, but Nightwalker is just a really good class um, to hyper burn. So those, those are like the top three options that I would suggest. Um, and then after that, we're going to have some honorable mentions. Um, and these are just some extra classes you can think about if the, the top three that I picked uh, don't tickle your fancy. Um, Kane, Xenon, and Demon Slayer are fantastic for that main DPS slot as well. Um, Kane and Xenon are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, DS is a two-minute variant, uh, which also is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> uh, so all of those uh, DPS classes are fantastic and fit the build just as well as Nightwalker. Um, if you're worried about like too many people playing Nightwalker and you want party diversity, feel free to pick up one of these instead um, because everyone loves different classes because stacking the same benefits and like debuffs and stuff is, is never a good thing. Um, for an elemental resistance character, again, I picked Battle Mage. Dawn Warrior is here because I think Battle Mage is way better than Dawn Warrior. Um, in terms of like what it offers for the party. Uh, and then also I think Battle Mage has like a fantastic future with upcoming Mastery Cores. So this is why Dawn Warrior is like a second choice kind of thing. Um, and there's one here that some people are going to be like, why is this class here? Um, but Kana is a really good party class. If you like Kana and you want to be like a party player, Kana is fantastic. Because what does every endgame bossing party have if they have it available? A Kana. Because it's just more FD stacking. So it's really good. Um, Kana in a solo is a different story. It's it's kind of smudge. Um, but in a party-oriented uh, meta and play, uh, Kana is fantastic. Um, so you can consider Kana as well. Um, so yeah, there is some picks. Uh, and there's some my opinions on them as well. Uh, hopefully, if you are struggling to find a main or pick something, this little bit uh, of info helps. Uh, and yeah, good luck on hyper running. Good luck on grinding. Uh, and I will see you in Go West, bro, or Dreamer, whatever, whatever we're all gonna call it. I'm just gonna say Go West, bro. Fuck crazy. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.